football. To some, it's a sport. To others, it's a passion. The greatest footballers in the world all started from somewhere, and youth football clubs have grown all across Britain to create greater communities in their towns and villages. But these clubs would be nothing without the commitment and dedication of the volunteers. Managers, coaches and parents all willingly giving up their time to make sure their club thrives the way it should. Just west of Maidstone lies Balming, a small village but home to a strong and passionate community. Welcome to Balming Youth Football Club. So, Balming Youth Football Club was founded in 1980. Um, it was founded because a number of um, dads got together because um, a Balming Club team started playing five-side tournaments and there was such an interest in it that the parents started to, you know, wanted to, to get involved and start running the team. So, well, I think the first five-side tournament we played, we had like one team and then we had enough for like two teams and it was oversubscribed. So they, they then thought, hey ho, let's, let's start up a kids football team. South Street was home to the first match played under the Barming name and it's still used today. South Street isn't the only home ground though. There are pitches all throughout Barming, such as Barming School, Gatlin Lane and Barming Heath, with some pitches being in the surrounding villages like Merriworth. Though some of these pitches are far apart, this hasn't weakened the bonds of the community surrounding the club. Today, I spoke to the club chairman about his own roles in the club as well as how important the volunteers are. So my primary role is to ensure that the management committee is effective in uh, running the sort of the direction and strategy of the club. Um, I also chair the meetings where it's important to ensure that um, we have full participation from the committee members and that all relevant points are discussed and um, good decisions are made and, and carried out. Um, the management committee that I referred to, um, probably often a lot of people, players, parents, probably don't even know uh, what a great job they do. Roles such as the treasurer, the club secretary, the welfare officer, lots of people that are involved in ordering kit, uh, tournaments, things like that, um, are just often go, go unnoticed, but they do a fantastic job and the club really can't survive without them. Similar to the sort of the chairman role, again, I, I've got the sort of the manager role, so I'm the main contact and everything, and have to organise all the games, um, give all the locations where everybody needs to needs to be. But in terms of actually the training and actually the match day, I have a huge amount of help from another three coaches, and I think that's the situation with most teams. There are some real unsung heroes in in the club um, that have only got like one manager, and he does absolutely everything, and they are. Those guys are absolutely uh, in incredible because they, they're totally, totally 100% uh, dedicated to the team. I'm very fortunate, I've got a lot, of, a lot of help, which makes our team very successful. Over the course of Barming Youth Football Club's near 40 year history, there has been a massive growth for both teams and volunteers. With over 30 teams across all age groups and genders, no wonder there is such a need for people volunteering. People's reasoning for helping with the club vary with each person. Most of the time it will be because they are a parent with a child who is playing in the team. However, this is certainly not always the case. Nigel Reddick is a parent who volunteers for the under 18's youth team by running the line. I asked him why he chose to start helping out after joining the club at the beginning of this season. Um, I run the line as a parent really to give Adrian the coach the opportunity to do his coaching role. And if someone didn't run the line, we wouldn't have a game of football. It is safe to say that clubs like Barming Youth wouldn't be able to survive without people like Nigel giving up their time each and every week. The club chairman told me that each team is like a family within a family. And after experiencing this first hand at multiple different matches, I can see why he would say this. I'll leave you with the chairman's thoughts on the importance of having volunteers. That's absolutely vital. There's just absolutely no way we, we can function with, without those. Um, 
the teams, um, each team really needs a, a, a couple of uh, coaches and then we also probably need first aid people, people to help putting the nets up just to make sure it goes smoothly. And the events, I mean, the, the big one is the tournament where we have like 2,000 people uh, visit over a weekend and with, without you know, parents and older players uh, giving up their personal time, we just wouldn't have the event. And they're always brilliant and it's, it's thanks to the Barming family. Um, as I say, I joined a decade ago. I was uh, dragged over the fence by a young man called Simon Kiefer, thank you very much, um, who asked me to help for a couple of weeks. And a decade later, uh, I'm still involved. And it, it, is, it is infectious. Um, if you go and watch some of the, the games today, I hear those same comments today. Uh, the teams are kind of like families within families, um, but it is very much a, you know, a local community family club. It's a great place to be.